So the food comes out of the stomach into the small intestine. So we only want the first part of the small intestine. So the small intestine is called the duodenum. Duodenum. So we said the liver Here's the liver. It produces a green liquid called bile. And that goes into the gall bladder. And it travels down the bile duct into the duodenum. And then we had here the pancreas. Okay, here's the pancreas. And we said that secretes three enzymes amylase. trypsin and lipase amylase turns starch into maltose trypsin turns protein into peptides lipase turns lipids into glycerol and fatty acids. So these two go into the duodenum. So you have to know that the contents, the food that comes out of the stomach is very acidic. It's a strong acid. And the contents from the liver and the pancreas are very basic or strong bases. Another word you can use is these are very alkaline. So when they mix it neutralizes the contents. So what happens in the duodenum? The duodenum here secretes, releases, it releases something called maltase. Maltase. And what does that do? It turns maltose into glucose the duodenum also secretes releases from its lining something called let's write it down here peptidase pep Days. That's an enzyme that turns peptides into amino acids. And we know amino acids are essential in your diet. So now the food continues on its journey into the second part of the small intestine, the ileum. 
So the food comes down into the small intestine. The small intestine, the first part is called the duodenum. The stomach content is very acidic. At the same time, the liver and the pancreatic juice is very basic or alkaline and that neutralizes the acid. So this acid and this alkaline, they end up neutral and start going down here. Otherwise, our small intestine would get damaged and we don't want that. So the liver releases a green liquid called bile. It goes into the gallbladder and down the bile duct here into the duodenum. The pancreas releases amylase which turns starch into maltose. Trypsin which turns protein into peptides. And you have lipase which turns lipids or fats into glycerol and fatty acids. So the food's continuing on here and the duodenum releases or secretes maltase. It turns maltose into glucose and this is very useful for us, glucose. We use that for energy in our bodies. And the duodenum also secretes or releases something called peptidase. And what does this do? This turns peptides into amino acids. So as the food's going down here, it's getting broken down from large insoluble molecules, from large insoluble molecules into small soluble molecules and then it continues its journey into the second part of the small intestine.